You've probably heard about keyword research, and if you're not familiar with it, it might sound like this big, scary, complicated thing that only SEO experts do. Um, that's not the case. It doesn't have to be super complicated, and keyword research is actually a great way to get ideas for new posts on your website that are going to help you get better and higher search rankings in Google. So today I'm going to show you the easy way to start using Google's keyword research tool to get ideas for posts on your site. We're going to start by opening the Keyword Planner. You can find this by searching Google Keyword Planner, and you'll just need to create a free Google AdWords account to get started. Um, this tool is primarily used for creating campaigns for AdWords. Those are those little ads you see that show up in the search results. But today we're just using it for research because it's actually an awesome way to get blog post ideas. So we are going to start by entering a keyword related to our product or service. So for this exercise, I'm going to use the keyword social media marketing, since I write a lot about that. Um, we don't need to enter a landing page or product category since we're not making a real AdWords campaign out of these results. Click Get Ideas. Google is going to return the average monthly search traffic for this keyword, and you can see it's upwards of a million searches for social media marketing some months. So we know the traffic is there. And we scroll down, we're going to see a bunch of different ad group ideas related to social media marketing. These are kind of like umbrellas of different terms that go together about this topic. So you can see strategy social, company social, tools for social, um, and then it's going to be different groups of keywords within that kind of umbrella search term. So I'm going to sort these by competition. And what that means is how many other people are out there trying to rank for this same keyword. Now um, you can see media courses, high competition, media help, high competition. I'm going to go the other way and rank it from low to high. And the point of this is to find low competition keywords that have a high number of average monthly searches. That means a lot of people are searching for this topic, but there's not a lot of resources out there about it. And that's where the opportunity lies for your blog. Uh, so this looks like a good category. Half a million searches per month, low competition. Let's check out the social media ad group. And you can see we've now got a whole bunch of different keywords related to social media that are low competition and high search volume. So, for example, social media trends. 3,600 people search this each month, but there's low competition, not a lot out there. So I might write a post about social media trends and scatter that keyword throughout the post so I can start to rank for it in Google. And if it's a great post with a lot of useful information, it's going to start showing up in those 3,600 search results. Um, what a good idea that I like to do is to download. When I see a good set of keywords I like, I download them into an Excel spreadsheet, and then it almost becomes like my go-to list for blog topics when I don't have anything to write about. I can go in there and, let's see, rank in the spreadsheet low to high, social media buttons, 5,400 searches per month, low competition. Maybe this week I'll write a post about how to use social media buttons to get more shares, and I might cover installing them on WordPress, best practices for using them. You get the idea. So now I'm going to go back to the screen I was on before, and instead of ad group ideas, I'm going to click on keyword ideas. It's just another way of looking at the data. And I'm going to rank them again by competition. I want it to go low to high. And you can see some of these are not going to be worth pursuing. The social media why. Why is social media marketing? Some of these aren't going to make sense, and with only 10 searches per month, they're not going to make sense to write about. So it's kind of up to you to do a little due diligence and sort out ones that are bogus versus things that are actually good ideas to write about. Social media definition, for example, doesn't seem that interesting to me, but 18,000 people search that each month, so that might be something to shoot for. Write a post about social media definition, go into all of its different uses, different platforms, and try to get that number one spot on Google for this search term.
So once you get the hang of this exercise, you can do it over and over again with different types of keywords. So I just did social media marketing. Next, I might try it with public relations or online marketing or digital marketing, small business. And you can see how after doing this a couple times, you're going to come back with a list of a few dozen really strong keywords to shoot for and write about on your blog. So you can start to rank for those keywords in the search results. And that means free traffic for your website. Website. I hope you found this helpful and you're no longer intimidated by doing keyword research.